What's up, YouTube? Andrew over here with Nautilus Spearfishing and Oscar. Yo, and, yeah, there he is. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> today we're going to be doing a band tying video. For some reason, we haven't done one, and I guess today's the day we're going to do one. So, uh, Oscar, uh, up to this point, has been our band tying guy because I got kind of tired of making bands all the time. So, Oscar's become somewhat of a specialist at this. And uh, I'm going to give you a guide through here. Oscar, uh, why don't you get off the, uh, you know, the table there. There you go. That's right. There's a start. There's a start. All right. So, of course, you're going to need your band. we got about a 16 millimeter band right here. You're going to need some Dacron or some wax tying cord, which is what we're using here. I believe this is a 1.3 millimeter braid. We have this on the site for sale. Uh, don't pick up my phone today. You are going to wait. All right. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to get some of this tying line. Oscar, how much do you think we need, baby? About 18 uh, inches? About this much, which is roughly 18 inches. You're right. Oh, yep. damn. I nailed it. 18 inches. All right. So you get about 18 inch piece of uh, wax cord. You cut it. And we have this cool little technique because a lot of times you don't want your band popping off. What Oscar's going to do is going to make a loop on each end of these band um, on the uh, Dacron material. So he's just going to make a little loop on one end and another little loop on the other end before you start. You don't have to do this, but you'll see at the end of the video why this is nice to do. Because uh, what a lot of guys do when uh, they make their bands, they don't do the knot tight enough, and then you have your bands popping out on your trip, and that's no fun. So what we have in there, we just did a little loop knot, and we shoved it in there with a set of pliers. There's a lot of different ways to do that. We'll talk about that another time. But then let's get into the nitty gritty. There's a lot of different ways of tying your band here in the shop. This is how we do it. And uh, what we're gonna, Oscar's gonna do, he's gonna cross it over. He's gonna make an X, just like that. Now, hey, look, at it's nice contrast with the black and the white. That was a good idea. All right, next step is to run one of the, uh, one of the lines behind the band, okay? And then you're gonna go, you're gonna, you're gonna open a gap and you're gonna go right under it just like that, you want to make sure, yeah, you want to make sure everything's on the back end there. And essentially that's what you have right there. And you're going to tighten everything up. And then you want to put it like right at the tip, make a little collar, like a little bow tie. You know, he's going to a party, you know, you got to gotta look spiffy. You want to make sure you tighten, uh, tighten both, both loops nice and tight. And then you crank it. You know, and you can see it's already getting a little, you know, getting some snugness on there. And the reason we do these little loops here is because then Oscar busts out the pliers. You don't need to use pliers, but anything like that. And this is where, uh, you know, going to the gym and working out comes in handy. Oh, yeah. You can pop them out when these are about 80 pounds. And it looks like Oscar busted one open. But you'll notice it's nice and tight. You can also twist the rubber as you're pulling it. But this is pretty much good to go. At this point, what ends up happening, sometimes that knot doesn't hold perfectly. So what I like to do is finish it off with just a simple, you know, just a little knot to clinch things nice and tight. So um, go ahead, Oscar, and just do a simple knot, you know, like a shoelace knot. Boom. Crank that. And by doing that, you're preventing the, uh, the original knot from opening up, That's that clinching knot. So uh, at this point, you would then do what, Oscar? We would cut the, uh, the, the material. Yep and make sure you have a, a lighter. You got a lighter anywhere around here? Yeah, there right it here. Is. And you're Look gonna... Look us being organized for once. Hey. And then you're gonna burn it. And you can kind of close it down with the uh, metal part of the lighter there. Do the same thing on the other side. Careful with the rubber, you don't want to burn the rubber. It would take a lot to really burn it anyway. And that's really it right there. So then, you know, you would pass, you can pass it through the loop and give it a good little test nudge. Make sure it's out. Yeah. Looks like we're good. Obviously, once you put it on the spear gun, you'll really know. But once you see it nice and tight like that, you know, you know you did a good job. So that's pretty much it, Oscar. Gracias, amigo. Of course. There you go. And uh, that's about it, guys. That's how you tie your bands. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Peace out.